One of the age-old ways of getting yourself known in the art world is by giving your artwork to the correct people, people that you think might be able to help you in your career path. It's often very difficult to identify who those people are. It's often very difficult to connect with those people, but it is one of the sure shot ways to get yourself out there. As with any discipline, uh, when you start a project, you have these wild, wonderful ideas, and then reality sets in as you try to realize them, and the challenges that come about, the challenges that stop one idea, but maybe ignite another idea. Um, with this particular project, again, having the, the visual record of the collaboration happening and happen, happen in real time, it's really nice because one of the things that uh, the students learn through this process is that when you're working on a big drawing or a big mural together, in the beginning it's really fun. There's, there's a blank canvas and you know, the world is, you know, the universe is out you know, to be tapped into. And, and so the students, I, I get them working real loose and, and, and kind of exploding on the canvas all at once to get a sort of a foundation going. And, and then that's really fun. That's like the beginning of the project, you know, with, as with any project, that, that sense of like, ooh, it's day one and where is this gonna take us? And then as with any good collaborative artwork, the drawing then kind of takes a turn for the worst and things start to look really bleak and muddy and, and that's when we stand back for a minute and we, we all look at it as a group and we start to pick out, well, where are the problem areas and where are the successful areas? And then we go back in and we start working on it. And then throughout the course of the drawing, there's this sort of sinusoidal curve that happens of, oh, it's looking really good. Oh, we just ruined it. Oh, it's looking really good. And so by working together, we're able to like, solve problems and create problems at the same time. And then eventually, when the project is done, because everyone's been involved with it and they're in tune with what's happening, then the drawing kind of finishes itself at a moment when we all say, oh wow, I think we're done. And it's because we've been through this, this rigorous event together, we're all like, okay, we know that we could screw this up right now or we really are finished with this drawing. And at that moment, I feel like the, the accomplishment is felt and um, the, the, the students actually kind of have now experienced this idea of, of don't give up no matter what. One very important aspect of this Jungle Wall project that I see kind of developing is um, we have these students who are young and energized and are making this artwork and making it in such a way that we can make it affordable and accessible by other people. And then I think about all of the young entrepreneurs out there, the young graduates that are getting out there and getting on their feet. And I understand things like how important it is to make a first impression, say you have clients coming over. And I know very much from experience that if you are sitting in a room with blank walls, you're gonna blank out. But if you're sitting in a room where there's artwork all over the wall, that will leave an impression. Our Big Walls Project, uh, our, our working title for this project that we've been doing here at Virginia Tech for a few semesters now, stems from the idea that when students get out of Virginia Tech, they're gonna be out in a world where they're no longer gonna be just that lone artist working in a studio somewhere. There's gonna be collaboration. They're gonna work in industries well beyond just the, the museums and the galleries. And with this project, I think that by Having this artwork that is so dynamic and so eye-catching, bold and big, that it's, you, 
can't ignore it, that when people inquire about it, they're gonna learn who those artists are. And then the artists that have been involved in making this artwork already have a, a leg up on the competition, if you will, because now they've got someone who's interested in their work, someone who potentially wants to contact them and discuss with them further in terms of what can you make for me? How, how can I commission you to make artwork to put on my walls? When you start off local, um, you know, local meaning in the Blacksburg area for sure, but also, you know, the Virginia Tech community. We start there, but then it's inevitable that other people are gonna see what's going on. And then I think we have a real chance to supply the world at large eventually with Virginia Tech alumni work. Just think about it, just think about it. If every morning we woke up knowing that there were hundreds of Virginia Tech murals hanging all around the world for the world to see and properly displayed with every single artist's name on it and how the project was made and that it was made at Virginia Tech. I can't think of a better way to honor not just the tech side of Virginia, but the creative side of Virginia Tech as well.